So it's Thursday, and um, yesterday I put the rocks in, as the Lord instructed me to, off the bridge into Black Rock Hot Springs, into the Rio Grande. This is called Black Rock Hot Springs. Um, I can't express just from what I what I've done in you know the Vatican's a snake and all that stuff all the information that the Lord's let me give to the world I can't express what's going through my mind right now as I'm standing here by this just incredible scenery this beautiful place and I'm going back to the John Dunn Bridge right now this morning I got up and I had the Lord told me to open to Jeremiah and I read Jeremiah 1 I mean Jeremiah 51 verse 1 and it said I will bring a destroying wind in the midst of Babylon and the Lord showed me that destroying wind was a spirit that will take over like the host body system which is exactly what's going on so I can't explain what it's like just to be me I'm just documenting this to be heading back to where I threw those rocks in off the bridge into the river this morning after I read Jeremiah 51 1 the Lord had me go down to the very bottom of the chapter and I'll read it on the video that I do but it talks about the completion of the book meaning the, the book the Bible in the completion of the book the rock will be bound together and thrown in the river I mean I don't know if y'all know how crazy that is that this morning I got up and I read Jeremiah 51 verse 1 and then I went down to the last three verses it's something that popped up the other day between Zach and Corey but anyway without getting into the backstory so the Lord had me read the last three verses of Jeremiah 51 and it talks about at the end of the book like the understanding of the the scroll that the two rocks will be bound together and cast into the Euphrates, which means to break forth. And I'm just trying to document the hope that I have. I mean, I'm on the verge of just breaking down and uncontrollably crying right now because I know the end of the world, sir. There's no doubt. Do I know that I'm going to take a balloon ride and blow shofar? And hopefully, you know, I mean, I don't know. The rapture I don't know I don't know I just know that's what the Lord told me to do and I just know that all the things that you've seen in this video so far have happened and they there's no there's no way all these things could have happened it's just insane so anyway I just want to share with you a moment here by this beautiful stream going into the Rio Grande and just the end of all things is here and um, it's fascinating because as I get to the John Dunn Bridge, I showed you the other day, I looked up on these cliffs way up here and I was like, why am I staring at these cliffs? Like way, way, way high up. And I stood there and I was like, why am I staring up? And it said hope. There's a little like street sign that said hope. Well, isn't that what this is all about? Faith, hope and love. I mean, that's just... I don't know how to describe what this is all like, but I hope you guys, you know, join me in this adventure and try and understand it. That's it. So there it all is. It's pretty crazy stuff. It's just, I've tried to document everything for you guys the best I can. I hope you guys understand it. So I'm going to take one moment just to try and today what's going on in my heart and everything it's been a long 20 years for me um, believing knowing that the Lord had appointed me to be a watchman I'm getting ready to fly over the John Dunn Bridge in a balloon and blow a shofar do I know that that means anything except that I know for sure the Lord told me to do it no right up there on that hill it says hope do I hope? Yeah, I do. 
I, I, I hope that my journey here has come to an end. But I'll persevere no matter what, whatever the cost, whatever he tells me to do. So, faith, hope, and love. Peace and grace, folks. So, so while I'm here, I want to document something that the other day when I threw the rocks, I had no, I had not read Jeremiah 51. Um, it's so cool he didn't let me read it until afterwards. But right here is that V for vengeance. Same thing as on my parachute. I may be jumping over here. I don't know. But what's crazy is where he had me throw the rocks. Right there. I mean, that's just crazy. Do y'all know how insane that is? Literally, the same thing that's on the bike is literally right behind me. Right there. That's absolutely bananas. <laughs> I mean, I don't know what to say about it. That would be right here. In my world, that's just not even explainable. And just to hear in my spirit to throw the rocks on the other side of the bridge. And there's a big X right there. I mean, that's just absolutely nuts. And then somewhere down in there is where the two rocks that have been bound together, you know, representing the one from the creek bed at Chinati, which was like the little Garden of Eden. Uh, the whole overall picture is so far beyond description. I don't even know how to describe it without going back to all the videos and watching them sequentially. That's the only way. It's been a journey. The whole thing's been a crazy, crazy, crazy journey. And it looks like the journey is coming to an end. That's just, that's what I would have to surmise from all this. Peace and grace. So to sign off on this particular segment, I would just want to sign off by saying, thank you, Jesus. I mean, Emmanuel, with us is all. He built all this. All of it is his. And to know that you've been redeemed from it, it's just, I, I don't know what to do with that. I don't, no one could ever feel worthy to understand the depth of the system and the depth of God and all of this, and that all this exists because of him. And the flesh is in opposition to the spirit. Uh, it's just, it's mind boggling. Anyway, all glory to Jesus, El, the Almighty Father. Thank you for this opportunity just to get to say thank you. Thank you. Amen.